Senator Gallagher, four minutes to outline your case. All right, Glatt. Um, Minister, you are very welcome to the House this afternoon. Today, Minister, I would like to raise the proposed closure of Cardiff House in Dumcondrath, County Meath. Uh, the proposal to remove a terminally ill gentleman from this facility has left himself and his family deeply distraught and upset. Cardiff House is currently a three-bed residential unit, and currently there are two people residing there. One of the residents is a 62-year-old male with special needs who has resided there for the past 13 years. This has been his home for the past 13 years, and he is very happy there. His family live within a three-minute distance of that facility. This man has now been told that he is going to be removed from the facility to another facility 20 miles away. The proposal, as you can imagine, has really upset him and indeed his family. It has come as a complete shock to them, uh, as everyone knows that he is very familiar with the surroundings there and is very happy and content residing there. It has particularly come as, very, as a shock because this gentleman had been advised by the HSE that he would be allowed to remain at this facility for the rest of his days. And I would ask you, Minister, sincerely that you would intervene yourself in this particular case and instruct the HSE to propose or suspend this decision. I think to remove this gentleman against his will would be cruel and uncalled for, um, especially in light of the fact that he is happy there and that a commitment had been given to him that he could remain there for the rest of his life. I would ask that common sense would prevail and that the HSE would, as I say, suspend this decision uh, on, on, for a later date, uh, so that this man can reside where he is happy and content to reside for as long as he so wishes. Mr. To respond. Uh, thank you, Cahir Luck, and, and thank you, Senator, for uh, giving me the opportunity to respond to the important issue you have raised here today. The government's ongoing priority is the safeguarding of vulnerable people in the care of the health service. We are committed to providing services and supports for people with disabilities, which will empower them to live independent lives, provide greater independence in accessing the services they choose, and enhance their ability to tailor the supports required to meet their needs and plan their lives. Significant resources have been invested by the health sector and disability services over the past number of years. This year alone, the health service executive has allocated €1.9 billion Euro to its disability services programme. As part of its ongoing service provision, the HSE will provide over 8,500 residential places this year to families in need right across the country. In fact, residential services make up the largest part of the disability budget. Our policies for people with disabilities to be supported to achieve their full potential so that, where possible, they can live ordinary lives in ordinary places doing ordinary things. The need for increased residential facilities is acknowledged, and the HSE continues to work with agencies to explore various ways of responding to this need in line with the budget available. Residential placements for adults with disabilities are considered following detailed clinical assessments by HSE services. Access to places for these with those with the most complex needs are allocated on a priority basis and appropriate availability of service. With regard to the particular centre mentioned by the Senator today, I am advised by the HSE that Caradas House is a small three-bedroom bungalow situated on the grounds of the health centre in Drumconra, County Mead. It currently caters for two residents. In 2018, the HSE decided to review the continued service provision at Caradas House based on the service experiencing challenges in meeting the needs of families and service users. I understand that the rural location, small house size, perceived poor access to community activities and lack of public transport were key factors in this regard. During 2018, numerous meetings were organised by the HSE with families to discuss its future plans for this service. More recently, HSE Disability Services organised a meeting with the families of the two individuals currently living at Caradas to discuss its future plans for the facility and its residents. The HSE has assured me that it is committed to the continuation of a loving and caring environment for the two residents currently living at Caradas. 
I am advised that the proposed move of the two residents to an alternative community residential home operated by the HSC Disability Services will ensure that these individuals will continue to be supported by staff who are known to them. Furthermore, the HSE envisages that the proposed move to an alternative residential setting will help ensure that the residents will be closer to the acute services they may require should an emergency situation arise. Yeah, briefly, I would like to thank the Minister for his response. I know, Minister Daly, you are a decent, uh, honourable and fair individual. And, you know, the backdrop to this is, is that this gentleman who currently resides there and has resided there for the past 13 years is very happy and very content and feels very safe there. Indeed, on the, on the site itself, there is a GP uh, next door in the event of an emergency arising. He does not want to leave. He is happy there. He was led to believe that he could stay the rest of his days there. His family live two minutes away from the facility and they want him to stay there as well. I would earnestly request that you would bring this matter back to the HSE officials who made this decision and asked that this gentleman's wishes and the wishes of his family would be taken into consideration because it will break his heart to leave that facility and it will break the heart of his family to see him leave it as well. Thank you. Thank you. Briefs. Yeah, thank you. Um, Cahill, again. Yeah, well, Senator, I don't have any further information, as you would appreciate, and thank you for your, your, your comments earlier. But I certainly am quite happy to, to relay your, your uh, concerns and what you have outlined here today back to the HSE to ensure that uh, this gentleman and his family, of course, there's, there's two parties involved, there's a gentleman himself and the, the family, that all of their concerns are fully taken on board. Uh, you know, you tend to have to look at both sides of it, and I know you'll appreciate that, and see that, you know, this gentleman may have, you know, 20, 30 years of life to live, and we want to ensure that he is in the most appropriate and best setting at 62 years of age. That, you know, we don't know, but none of us know how long any of us are going to live. And at the same time, you know, we want to minimise the trauma and the, the discomfort and, you know, any um, stress, I suppose, for the gentleman himself and the family. So I certainly will uh, pass on your concerns back to the HSE in light of that. Thank you, Senator.